Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from GitLab Crash Course. In this tutorial, we'll be focusing on how to set up a GitLab with Visual Studio Code. GitLab is an open source collaboration platform that provides powerful features beyond hosting a code repository. So by end of this tutorial, we'll learn how to authenticate with GitLab and clone the project from GitLab to our Ubuntu remote server and all this is done through a VS Code. If you are new to this channel, please make sure you support by liking the video and subscribing. Additionally, feel free to share your valuable thoughts and ideas in the comment section. With that said, let's get started. So to begin with, we need to have a GitLab account created. We can easily create one by going to the GitLab official website. GitLab also provides an option to sign up with third-party platforms such as Google, GitHub and Twitter. And this makes the login process faster and more convenient. Once you are on the GitLab, the first step would be to configure the SSH key pair. So we actually need a public key, it helps us to authenticate with the GitLab without providing your username and password each time you interact with the servers. Then we can push the changes to the remote repositories effortlessly. So to generate a key in the Linux platform, use ssh-keygen command and you can add hyphen d flag to increase the key size. Also choose other key type if you want. So to make it simple, let's generate a default RSA key pair. So by default, the keys will be stored under dot ssh directory and the first one is a private key which is located on the local system we can't share the private key so we need to copy the public key and update it on the gitlab so next comes to the important part of this video where we will install and configure the gitlab workflow extension the steps are similar how we install the remote extension pack on our previous video the workflow actually helps us to integrate the GitLab with Visual Studio Code. So go to the Visual Studio extension tab and search for GitLab workflow. Once we install this package, we can find the GitLab icon present on the left hand side. Okay, now we have the GitLab flow installed. So we need to configure them before start using in VS Code. So there are two ways to do this. The first would be to connect through OAuth. So let's click on it. It will ask you if you want to sign in using the GitLab.com authentication. Then click allow which will redirect to the GitLab page. Finally it will ask you to open this on the VS Code. So once it is done we can open the source control either open folder or the clone repository. If I click clone repository it will prompt for the source control system we want to integrate either GitHub or GitLab. We can go ahead and choose clone with GitLab. Then the magic happens where we can see all the repository from the GitLab. So this is the first method we can integrate with GitLab. And let me go ahead and remove to show you the second approach. So click on add account which will prompt to enter a token. A token based authentication is a common way to authenticate with the GitLab APIs because it provides an added layer of security. So to generate a new token let's head over to the GitLab page again. Go to preference which is under the profile on the right hand side. Give a name for your token and specify the scope of access for the token which will control what action the token can perform on your GitLab project and repositories. We'll just go with an API and read API for now and click create access token. So once it is done, you will find a new token generator on the top. Let's copy this and update it on the VS code. We'll see a GitLab added account message popped up below. Again to test this, we'll open a source control, choose clone with the repositories, then select the GitLab as a remote source. Great, we find all the repositories from the GitLab on our VS code. And these are the two ways we can integrate and set up VS Code with GitLab. Alright, next uh, let's look at all the commands available under the GitLabs. To open the command palette, you can use keyboard shortcut, Control Shift P on Windows and Linux machine, which will open a command window. To access all the GitLab related commands, start searching with GitLab colon. Then we can see a couple of tasks available over there. Let's go ahead and choose Open Remote Repository. Then it will ask it where you want to keep this repository. In this case, we'll add this to the VS Code workspace on the current window. Then choose the project you want to import. So I have a couple of projects already on the GitLab. If you don't have a problem, you can create one before you come to this page. If you know the GitLab uh, repository remote link, then you can mention as well here. I'll search for the Docker, which I have created for my Docker projects. Then mention the branch name from the given repo. Then finally press enter which will prompt for the password to enter for your remote servers. Please note that we are importing the project from GitLab. 
and updating on the remote server sitting on the VS Code. So if you go to the file section of the VS Code, you will find that GitLab repository is getting downloaded to our workspace. Now we can access this project, make the required updates from the VS Code, then later push to the GitLab repository. So we'll see these steps on our next video. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.